This video was made to review and criticize the material in it and is not intended to be a substitute for the original work. I do not own the material or any part of the show in this video. Please support HBO by watching the full episode and show on HBO or any other platform that legally streams it. Links to the official sites are available in the description box below. This video is intended to fall under the general guidelines of fair use and is edited as to not compete with the original work. As an aspiring writer and artist, my goal is to comment, review, criticize and learn from the work. Thank you for understanding. Welcome to Watcher, today we're watching episode 70. But before we begin, please don't leave any spoilers in the comment section. I'd greatly appreciate that. And most importantly, thank you so much for the support and for joining me on this adventure. If you're new here, then please subscribe. That would be really awesome. So this is it. The living versus the dead. Who will prevail? I'm gonna put my money on the living. Although I believe that many of my favorite characters might die. Like the hound for example. Also, maybe we should have kept Baelish alive. Wouldn't his genius mind be an asset at a time like this? Maybe not. Anyway, somehow the living will win this battle. I have no idea how though. Well, it's pretty simple to be honest. We just need to take down the Night King. And that will have to be done in a sneaky way. Other than that, Tyrion has been under fire lately. He might even lose his position as the Hand. It kinda feels like that, right? Personally, I'd love it. Daenerys does not deserve him. I'm still worried about Bronn though. He might be on his way to assassinate the Lannister bros. And I actually feel like one of them could die. That would easily be a top 10 anime betrayal moment. Anyway, I'm so excited for this episode. I'm all over the place. I love how everyone is working together. It's a beautiful sight. But enough talking. Let's find out how this goes. I assume we will continue with the, or rather, begin the battle in this episode. Someone is cold, shaking, oh, Sam. Guys, aren't they here already? What are you thinking about Tyrion? What are you up to? Nerve wrecking. I can feel it all the way here. The good dragons. For a moment, I thought it was the bad one. Not really bad one, the dead one. Here's the Hound, and Gendry, and Ed, and Sam. Who's riding the horses? Jorah. Are the Dothraki ready? We are going to need them here. At any moment now. Now, where the hell are you guys? Are you even safe here? Well, Bran told you. The Night King also has a dragon. He can find you. I suppose he isn't after you. His, his goal is Bran. Who is that? Someone is riding a horse. Lady Melisandre. Wow, she is brave. Tell them to lift their swords. She'll tur turn their swords to fire, maybe. Maybe you should listen to her. She isn't a danger right now. Now what? What did you have in mind? From one sword to another, like a torch. She's doing something. Yep. Alright. Fire swords. That's cool. We will need that. It will be easier to see as well. Brightens up the night. Thank you very much. Maybe she will hang out with Davos. I'm glad she returned. For a moment, I thought she was done. That her, her story had ended. That she went back to Essos. Or wherever. But no. She is important. Still. Which is good. There's no need to execute me, Sir Davos. I'll be dead before the day. What and why exactly will you be dead? She's looking at Arya for some reason. Like has she seen something in her visions about Arya? That's what I'm getting from it. Guys, where are you going? Shouldn't you let them come to you? This looks so cool. Even cooler now. But I don't know if this is smart. Going to them. Before they went, maybe you should have fired a couple of rounds, thin them down a bit. Yo, that did not look good, like riding into a wall. I told you guys, that would turn into darkness. What was this plan? This tactic? Is everyone dead already? What are you guys doing? What was your mission? 
Like, what was that? They went and came back. What a way to sacrifice the Dothraki. Are they coming? I can hear the screams. This will be ugly. They did not use the catapults enough, in my opinion. Wow. Let's go, Tormund the Hound. And how is Jamie gonna fight even? That's also stupid, he should be somewhere commanding the armies, overseeing the battle. Like, is everyone going to die? Is that Daenerys with her dragon? Good! This is probably our only chance. Just burn everyone. Good, John. Here are the main guys. They are waiting for their king, the Night King. And he will be here, well... Clouds, the storm is here. That means that the Night King probably is here also, somewhere, at least on his way. Get down to the crypt. Take this and go. I don't know how to use it. Well, you just stick him with the pointy end. <laughs> exactly. Burn as many as you can before he arrives. Theon, will you be able to protect Bran? What if everyone actually dies and Cersei wins everything? Well, she would still have to deal with the Night King himself. Yo, yo, behind you! Hey! Is that Sam? Is he actually fighting? Please, help him! Good! Why did it go quiet, suddenly? Ooh. No, not Ed. Stupid freak. I had a feeling, and I suspect that many more will die, so I'm almost ready for it. Oh, Tyrion is here actually. And so is Varys, and Gilly, and Sam Jr. I think I'd rather be up there. I'd rather do something. Who is that? Okay. A bit higher, please. Oh! What is going on? He will be here at any moment now. Yep, fall back. Back inside the wall. Yeah, but if you open the gate, won't the dead get past as well? At some point you have to close the gate. So, will they sacrifice themselves here? Can you tell us, Bran? Like, what's going on with his armies? Who the frick is this? I'm always so confused when I see a dragon. Paranoid. So many left. Dude, this will be impossible. Our only chance is to get the, the Night King himself, and he's smart. He won't arrive yet. All right, great, now retreat. Okay, are we finally ready for that? Oh, that's another problem. Mm, that's not enough, we need a stronger fire. John or Daenerys, can you please come back? Can't Beric do something? Or Lady Melisandre, light the freaking trenches. Alright, I suppose she can do it. Now protect her, because this might take some time. She has to say some stuff before. Is this where she will die? In the process of lighting the trench? Ooh, perfect timing, super close. Now burn, all of you, burn. Can you find your way back now? Follow the fire. Awesome. That was a nice shot. The reflection in Lady Melisandre's eyes. At least we're already in a crypt. <laughs> that was quite funny. We might see something everyone else is missing. Yes, that's how I would feel. If I was out there right now. You'd die. You might be surprised at the lengths I'd go to avoid joining the army of the dead. Witty remarks won't make a difference. It's the most heroic thing you can do now. Look the truth in the face. Maybe we should have stayed married. You were the best of them. 
Quite a compliment. It wouldn't work between us. Why not? Your divided loyalties would become a problem. Without the Dragon Queen, there'd be no problem at all. We'd all be dead already. I just want you to know. What do you want him to know? The things I did, everything you did brought you where you are now. Home. I'm going to go now. Where are you going? Oh, yeah. Of course. Where else would he go? Time to scout. Maybe we can find find him. The Night King. Here he is. What is this? One at a time? So bizarre. What are they doing? This serves a purpose of some kind. Look at the fire where they are. They are taking out the fire. See? Look how many there are left. Like this is impossible. Yep. Here he is. John, are you going after him? Alone? Is that smart? Climbing each other. The problem is that the living get tired. The dead don't. They will just keep on coming. And as the living die, they will just join the other side. An endless supply of, of soldiers. Come on, Brienne and Jamie. Don't die, please. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, this is impossible. The way things are going. Well, Arya still has fight in her. Maybe that will inspire someone. Looks like Clegane has given up. You should probably hide. What the frick? Did she die? Oh! Yo, yo, yo! Clegane, are you there? Oh, she's alive. Maybe she'd play dead. What the frick are you doing, Clegane? Can't give up on the fuck off! We can't beat them! So you see that, you stupid whore! <laughs> well, we can at least try. Tell her that. Come on, we don't have time. He actually cares for her. No! No! So disappointing. If she dies, maybe she won't die. Maybe she will survive. Or maybe she didn't die. And that was the last thing she did. Take out a giant. Quite sad. I liked her a lot. She was the new Lady Olena for me. Is he gone? Is he toying around with you? There it is. Fire back. You guys are two against one. Like, come on. That looked cool with the moon in the background. Did you lose him again? He is owning you guys on a completely different level. Did you get away, Arya? Oof. Are they here? Inside, strolling around. Yep, they are here. Don't scare us. No jump scares, please. <gasps> Arya, where did you go? How will you get out of here? So creepy. A good distraction. Now get away, quickly. Why did you even go here? Oh. Good. That was close. Now run. Run, 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 run. Even worse. All of that for this. The problem is that wherever you are, wherever you go, you'll find a couple of hundreds of hundreds of those. They are everywhere. And how are things going down here? Here she is. The guard. She looked focused. She was ready for some action. A true soldier. And so it begins, or maybe not. They are getting closer. I wonder if this battle went better than they expected, or worse. Or maybe exactly like they expected it to go. Oh. Hurry up, can you help her? Yeah. Now take her and run away. Ah, no. Oh, no. 
I don't think he will survive. Mm, he might have to sacrifice himself. I'm sorry my guy, a legend. But I think this is it for him. Unfortunately. Yeah, he won't make it. Taurus is not here. The Lord brought him back for a purpose. What? What is she doing here? No, that purpose has been served. He's like, oh no, another crazy. He said he'd meet again. So he said I'd shut many eyes forever. You were right about that too. That's actually giving me goosebumps. What will we do now, Lady Melisandre? What have you seen? What's Arya's purpose? What do we say to the god of death? Not today. Let's go. How do we achieve that now? That's what I want to know. Well, rest in peace, Beric. Oh no. This will be so problematic. They can't let anyone through. Just as I said that. Did you see how many there were? With bow and arrows? Come on, how quickly can you load a, a bow? He is coming. He is coming. Bran. Good. Whoever that is. John, good. Now Daenerys, where are you? Can you help out? We need you. Imagine fighting your sibling. Poor dragons. And poor dragon. Because there's only one living dragon there. Oof. Oof. Close as hell. Look out. We know what that thing can do. It can kill a dragon. Good. Good. Yes. He fell. That's awesome. Now end this dragon. His time is up. At least he doesn't have a dragon anymore. Now we just have to find him. There he is. Good. You have him. Don't let him escape. Was that it? I don't believe so. Come on. I bet he's still standing there as if nothing happened. Whoa. I saw something. Well, yep, as I ex expected. Hurry. Ooh, 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 that was close. What even is he? Like, how do we kill him? Valyrian steel, dragon glass, because fire apparently does not work. John versus the Night King. Well, I'm looking forward to that. He looks so chill though. I love his head, like a crown, a crown of ice. Is this it? The decider? No, 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 no. Isn't that how he summons his army? See? Blue eyes. Dude, he is invincible. Okay, I think this might be it for John. I thought John would survive this. This is so sad. Even Ed. And he did not want this. He was like, burn me, please. And here they are. Just what we needed. <laughs> what a gang. That was pretty cool. Whoa. Don't we have any weapons here? Sansa, stab that thing. They are breaking the freaking wall. Who will be alive after this episode? Like Cersei will be chilling in, his, in her capital. John, what the frick? Is that Daenerys? Come on, jump on, let's get away. So many twists and turns to this battle. Shouldn't you fly away, your poor dragon? What the frick? Look at them, like ants. They are stabbing the hell out of your dragon. And if you lose your dragons, I don't know if you can take on Cersei. Oh, she fell. Shake them off, shake them off. Can't you play dead or something? Can someone... Jora maybe? Yes, obviously. Theon, time for the sword. 
Stand close to Bran. Time to swing. Hey, come on. And here's the perfect couple. What are you guys doing? No suicide here. No taking your own life. But I do understand them. That freak is still going crazy. Jamie, Brienne. So everyone is dying. Alright, perfect. So is this the end of the series? This episode? What will happen in the next ones? Wow, she's fighting. I love that. Varys is like... What is life? What are we even doing here? Here he come for Bran. No, not Jora. This might be it for Theon, which would be very sad. Time to end humanity. What's up? What do you want, Bran? You're a good man. Thank you. Once again, that's super sad. I feel like this is it for Theon. All he needed to hear. Yep. Everyone just loves to charge. Let them come to you. Nope. <laughs> this is quite comical. Can't get away. That dragon is in the way. And that's the end of Jorah as well. No way he will survive this. These last 20 minutes have been epic. Really enjoyed them. The music is amazing as always. Just makes everything even better. Hi there, what is up? That's interesting. What are you guys thinking right now? Both of you. What am I seeing? What am I seeing? What am I watching? Did, did, did that... I can't even speak. Did that just happen? From where did she jump? Where was she? Arya is the MVP if that really happened. Because I'm still in disbelief. And isn't Jorah dead? Maybe he had great armor. And then he just fell. As I said that. So unexpected. I did not see that coming. Not at all. The dead look dead. Arya, what a legend. A true hero. I think Jorah is dead. Or at least dying. He's also a hero. A very loyal person. Now, what is she doing? Where is she going? She said that she would die. But I don't know how to interpret that. That was, she helped out a lot during this battle. Maybe we can forgive her. What is she doing? Is she turning old again? Has she fulfilled her destiny? I think she has gone back to her old woman form and died. Wow, what an episode. I'm speechless. Wow, this battle really went as I expected, as in the living one, but many goats died in the process. Yet how it happened completely surprised me and blew my mind. What I mainly feel right now is amazement, especially at the last half an hour of this episode. There are so many thoughts in my head right now, yet currently it feels like nothing really matters. So, what did actually happen in this one? Pretty straightforward. The living just won against the dead, even though everyone was almost wiped out. How do I feel about how things went? Initially, I wasn't that impressed by the tactics Team Winterfell used, especially when it comes to how the Dothraki were used. The dead just got the Dothraki in under two minutes. But the longer the battle went on, the more I actually enjoyed it. I'm so glad the living won, and that Arya got the Night King. That was an impressive move as it happened. I'm just a bit confused at where she came from. Maybe she was hiding and waiting somewhere. Anyway, we lost many great characters in this episode. Theon, Jorah, Ed, Little Lyanna, Beric, Lady Melisandre, and probably many more I'm forgetting right now. Respect to all those characters, they will be missed, but they all went out like true heroes. Still, it was very sad to see. It made the battle more realistic though. Casualties are necessary to make something feel realistic and believable, so I think there was a good balance of that. So, which was my favorite scene? I really loved 
Theon's last stand and Bran's words to him. You could see that they meant a lot and it looked like if he finally found some peace. So for me, that stood out. And Lady Melisandre had some amazing moments in this episode. What a character she was. But I suppose that was it for her. She did what she was here to do. And I respect that. And I think even Davos did. I'm gonna give this episode a 9 out of 10. Even though there wasn't actually that much to comment on. I still had an amazing time watching this one. The music especially was beautiful. Just added another level to the episode. So in the next episode I expect us to recover and regroup. Then it will be time to face Cersei. Can't wait for that. But Team Daenerys looks really weakened. Cersei will be more than ready. So I suppose the battle against the dead has ended. But the battle for the Iron Throne is just about to begin, so we're not finished yet. But anyway guys, that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here and have enjoyed this, then please subscribe and leave a like. That would be really appreciated. Now take care and see you next time.